welcome here i will be quickly showing you how to install and uh, configure node red in your raspberry pi so right now i am using raspberry pi 4 with uh, raspberry pi os buster and you can see that i have right now connected uh, to my raspberry pi using vnc uh, you can directly if you have a display connected uh, you can directly connect to your raspberry pi display and then install it I will be opening the command prompt or the terminal window and then we'll run the uh, node red command which uh, is provided by node red.org just copy pasting it from notepad It will first ask for your confirmation it say, since it will uh, update the node.js version as well as uh, if it is not meeting the required it will remove it so for me it is fine so if you can see the uh, process is going on it will if if it all goes well it will complete it otherwise it will show you the error message and log that in the log file it will take some time depending on how, uh, how much uh, what is the speed and what all softwares are uh, versions uh, you already have installed and which is getting removed so depending on that yeah, it will take some time so i will pausing the recording for some time and then we'll come back again so now you can see that the, it is the installation is complete it took me around less than five minutes so uh, if you can see what all it has installed so it has uh, uh, removed the old version installed node.js 16 then clean the cache then install node red code and send it also installed that extra pi nodes uh, for your uh, help and then it has also uh, uh, done uh, that it has updated the system uh, md scripts so that we can have a uh, run as, have it run as a service and the service is already started so we can uh, run the admin mode and then configure whatever is required So now we'll see how we can, uh, if you need to uh, start or restart, uh, stop the node red service. So how we can do so? For that, it's uh, simple. Uh, you just need to uh, enter the command. So it will start and run. Now, even if we press uh, Control C uh, or close this terminal, it will not stop running. To stop, uh, you need to again follow the command. and provide the stop command so to stop it we'll restart this there is a other commands like if you want to restart if there is some issue and you want to restart the service you can restart it but right now I have since I have stopped I am starting it again now uh, we can see how this we can access from the command uh, browser so so we'll see uh, we'll open that local host from, since i have opened the browser from within the raspberry pi so i will open uh, as a local host make sure the port number is 1880 the default one so it will show you since we have no, uh, we don't have any security uh, installed so it will not show you for any ask for, you for any login so we can see this welcome screen and it will give you some tips how to do i'm just closing it for now so if uh, this is how if you are accessing from uh, within the raspberry pi but ideally if you are accessing uh, from outside your raspberry pi uh, that i can show you i will be showing you in a few minutes so i have opened uh, you can see a browser outside the raspberry pi this is not with uh, inside the vnc and i've uh, opened using the raspberry pi uh, my uh, 
machine name that Raspberry Pi 4. This is what is its name. If you can see, uh, that's how I connected to using the VNC. And it opens up and from now, from here you can view it. So if you see uh, how we can access from the UI, uh, you can create your own different nodes, connect each services and prepare for your uh, IoT projects and dashboards. So that's all in this uh, video.